Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a WX Python app. So we have XRC Ed ready and waiting so I'll show you how to start making your app. Okay, here we have widgets on various pages. Okay, and you've got controls, it's got a title there, panels. Uh, so, Windows, we want a frame. So we open the frame, we give the frame a name, and I call my app frame main. You can call it whatever you want. You may have a name convention uh, where you call your uh, applications whatever you prefer. But with me, I know that the main frame is my app. Okay, so we've given the frame a name. That's the class. That is the name of the class. Now we're going to give a title of the frame and we'll call this test application and the size I will make it is 500 by 400 and that's it that's all we do you can click center if you want to center it you have various styles here I just leave it as is don't worry about centering. Then we need to add a box size. You have various sizes here that you can use. And this spacer, I use that quite a lot. So you'll learn how to do that. Alright, so we put a box sizer there. Now this is a box sizer, but we want to put a sizer item where we put our widgets in. So you click again and now we have a sizer item for the box sizer. In the box sizer you give a proportion of one and it's only one. It's either zero or one. One means I want you to fill the whole frame. Border, we want no border around the edges. And then we go all oh, expand. Okay, so we're asking the frame that whatever is what widgets are added to this box sizer please expand it to the full frame size then we go back to our windows widgets and we go to panel we add a panel and call the panel panel main so the frame is called frame main the panel was called panel main so I go back to frame and I tend to copy the size of the pa uh, the frame, copy and paste so that the panel is the same size as the frame. We also go to the sizer item which is in this box sizer and we put one, fill the frame, we want no border around the panel, you go all expand in other words all if I have a border there I want to border all the way around okay so now that we have our frame I go to my C drive I've got Python 3.6 there uh, go to XRC go to my chutes I have a folder called test app here Windows 10 I go new folder and I'll call that DT DT means data if I have a database database is in there images or whatever I put it all in the data file and I'll open that at DT then here I'll click save save again my chutes test app DT and I go M and A which means main, MN is main, A is for app, so MNA is my main app. You don't have to put the extension .xrc on the end of the file name. XRC Ed will do that automatically. You save that, here we are, it's called MNA XRC. There it is. 
test app, go to DT, and there is our XRC file. Okay, so we want to see what it looks like. Now, if you highlight here, you want to view your uh, whatever you're designing, you want to see what it looks like. You got F5 for test, F6 to close the test. Okay, so if I go and that's highlighting the panel, this error keeps popping up. It's annoying, but I live with it. And so will you, unfortunately. So that's the X panel. Now I haven't clicked it. If you click it and you press F6, it won't close. You have to click in here and then press F on the XRC add, F6, and that will close automatically. But we want to see the whole frame. Okay, so you go to the top of the tree, just click it to highlight it then press F5 there you go there is your test application the frame so at the moment it is a frame but the next tutorial I'll show you the code that you need to put in there so that it will run as an application okay so that is the end of the tutorial I hope it's been helpful you've enjoyed it if you have any, any questions or comments in regards to this video or any suggestions for future videos please leave a comment below the video on YouTube that way everyone who sees the video can see your comments and it will provide information for those viewers also so till the next tutorial have a good day goodbye